And it's all coming up. From Hollywood, it's Mike Douglas, People Now. Now, here's Mike. You know, only television could create the scenario the sweet sister-in-law of J.R. Ewing spins off into her own series and, and finds herself surrounded by more scandal than J.R. ever thought possible. <laughs> Welcome from Knott's Landing, the lovely Joan Van Ark. Hi there. Thank you. Hi, Mike. How you look are a little you? healthier than when I last saw you. Oh, and you're talking about Lima, Peru. Yeah, Viva you, Peru. Yeah, you were doing what? The, the sh I went down uh, to do the Miss Universe pageant to co-host with Bob Barker. <laughs> In this business, you know, know it's feast or famine and even so while you're doing a television series that particular week I had to fly down to Lima do that show and fly back at two in the morning right after we finished doing it to come back to good old Culver City and MGM and, and resume we with met. you and yeah. meet with you and do this the show that we did you know for women that is more difficult because mm. you guys have to go in and get the hair mm, and the, the thin. plastic surgeons and the <laughs> eyes and, and look all that. fresh after you've been on a red-eye flight all or night yeah, yeah flying back all night and then of course grabbing the script and at some moment maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds try to take a look at those lines and I had to do you know all that crazy that was a highly dramatic scene you did well, too it, also it because me. it was a turning point for her in a way sure. that she uh, discovered why she did this and, and what she wanted to do with the book and, uh, and yeah she's and, not as sweet as ever now she's she's gone through a, a big change in her life hasn't well, she well cause old Gare left her yeah. Gary Ewing the one that she's been mad for for 17 years since she was a 15 year old and when they had Lucy and all that he has the uh, the wayward son has gone once again oh. over the hill with the uh, gorgeous Abby Donna Mills. So uh, it, it has caused Val, Valine, to 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 uh, first of all go through a lot of pain, of course, but then to emerge as a more independent uh, yeah. person Come and out of her shell a little. Exactly, and 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 the, with the success of the book and everything, uh, I I at first was kind of thrown. Is the book successful? Yes, it's become the, the bestseller. They say oh, so well, easy one line. That's because she goes on with a certain guy and oh, plugs it. Well, he <laughs> does it. Life in the fast lane in the publishing. World. There uh -huh. you go. Real good. Will you run into Jr. this season? Well, I already did. Yes. Well, you did. Yes, he You've came done on the that. book tour. Well, we haven't seen it though. No, you won't see it uh, for a few more weeks, actually, until the season starts. But I go to Dallas on a book tour, and of course, old Jr. pops in unexpectedly while I'm madly autographing books. He knows where all the pretty ladies uh, are. He knows bugger. how to get to them once he He's finds the pretty radar, ladies. He's got radar. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Is 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 money and power uh, an aphrodisiac? Is it? Yeah. You're asking me? No, I'm just <laughs> saying, just forget those shows. Is it? Money and power to women. I don't know. A powerful it, man. Couldn't wait. It couldn't possibly it wouldn't wait. wait. <laughs> Not a bit. No, no way. But, uh, <laughs> you know, um, I, I, my experience, uh, I don't have a vast experience in that area, but uh, I, I suppose it, it does turn some women on. I better not be specific here and say... I was kind of knocked out when I met your husband. I didn't know that News the reporting. man we see him at, on... Uh, Channel 4. Channel 4, NBC here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And I, I look and there's this familiar face. Yes, and for once, yesterday morning, he had to get up at 6 o'clock to cover the, the bus strike. And for once, he knew the kind of hours that I have to go through. Because if we have to be at MGM in makeup at 6, it means getting up at 4.30. Oh, and that's almost like taking a red eye from Lima, Peru. That's a killer. Gosh, what? It's terrible. <laughs> oh. Stunt check is what we need for something like but that. But you do that how many, five days a week? Yeah, it can be five days. That's really a wipeout. And I've had weekends where I just stay in my pajamas the whole oh, weekend. I, and I, I, don't, I don't blame you. Straight out and stay. And get a whole bunch of papers and books and magazines Not, and say, this uh, is it. That's it, or just a long straw all the way to the, to the kitchen and just, you know, I've had weekends where I put a cot right in front of the icebox. I am so wiped out. Oh, and that's, that's it. But that's what call a uh, But you still love it, don't you? Yes, I do. I, I, I never dream, uh, never dream really that I would live with Valine as long as I have now. We're going into our fourth season, and I, I know Steve's coming on, Keneally, and um, they've been, I think, five or six, maybe it's their fifth season, and you never think as you uh, embark on a, on a project, or I, I did Dallas as a guest shot, and then it developed into the Knott's Landing. Wow. Yeah, you it's never realize, wild. and now she's been part of me for four years now, so it's, it's uh, kind of strange. Of course, to have a successful book, I kind of alluded to this because I'm so excited about it, you have to do talk shows, and you we have a too. We have a clip of a scene that we did together, Joan yeah. Van Ark and me, which we're going to play right now, which you'll be seeing on Knott's Landing a little later in the season. <laughs> Could you roll it, please, Terry? And, of course, the name Ewing 
is related to the Ewings, right? From Texas? Oh, yeah. Ah. Right. Uh, we are from Texas. Uh, I mean, my husband, uh, he's originally from Texas, but we moved out here a couple years ago, and I this see. is where he's living right uh, now. Do you miss Texas? Oh, no, no. I do not. And I don't think that he does either. Now, some people are saying that the whole book's uh, a Roman of clay. Roman of clay? Yes. Well, I don't know, because I didn't write the book in French. What half there? Touché. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of that in the book, yeah. <laughs> You're a sly one, Miss Ewing. Uh, I'm starting to get nervous now. <laughs> no, I meant that your, your, your book seems to be a, a thinly disguised story of the real-life Ewing family. Uh-huh. Now, uh -huh. I, I got to say something. You know, when we were doing it, uh, we said Roman and Clay, and we had a big discussion I about... I, I did it about seven ways. I know Nobody that. knew what the pronunciation to to, was. With no, what, what is it? No, I think it's an Italian dish. You put a lot of cheese, mozzarella or something no, on no. it. No, no. No, I tell you, though, it should be Italian, because as I listen to you say Roman and Clay, well, I don't know, I didn't write the book in Italian. It just, it doesn't sound French to me, and I wanted so badly to say that. Then the author came on the set after you left, and he said, ooh, that would have been wonderful. You should have done it. Just throwing that in. Yeah, sure. yeah. That made me mad because, um, see, I have to explain too because that looks so, like such lousy, lousy work on my part that she was scared witless. I oh, mean, yeah, of course, the talk I'm, show. She's I'm never done that. Rock as Joan Van Ark, of course, but I mean, Val was supposed to that be. That's not she, lousy. That's so no, good. No, but the thing is, she she's never done anything. I mean, Valine was a waitress when she did Dallas, and when she was in Dallas, Fort Worth, she was waiting oh. tables in a diner. You know, that was all she knew. And now she's on a show, and she's. You know, and she's somebody else, and it's, um... Let's talk about you for a minute. No. Jones, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, you are I'll... a jogger, and you're serious about this. You, yeah. you said to me, I, I said, are you still running? You said I did... 14 miles on Labor Day. And when one shot? Absolutely. I had a lot of champagne the night before, oh and I just, got, I just bubbled my way. 14 miles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, does anyone go with you, or do you No, I run away from a lot of people, but... Where no, do he you doesn't run? run? Where do you want run? Well, I'm not... I don't like oh, to really oh, say, yeah, but I, right, there's yeah. a place I love that I call my church in a way. I mean, that sounds schmaltzy, but it's a place that's quiet, no cars. Are there many people running in that place? Lots of people. You have really? names you would, you've had on this show. It's a lot of people go there and just sort of get cleansed in a way. It's a wonderful What do you think place. about when you run? Everything. Really everything. I think about... Sometimes my work that I'm the scene I might have a problem with, I run through problems in a way. I, I get perspective. I say, ah, that's what it's supposed to be. That's the way I meant that. That's what he meant by that. Or that's what I should do when I call him. That's what I should say. Things just kind of come in. I don't know what yeah. it is. It just it How did that all start? To, because you ran in a Boston Marathon. You've been I at did. this a while. Yeah, yeah. Both my husband Did you and finish? I, oh, absolutely I finished. I did about a 3.30. When you, it took me 10 minutes to walk over the starting line. So I did a 3.37 in real time. But, you know, if you knock off the, the time it took to get over Three the starting Three hours and 37 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 20... Six miles. 26.2, I think it is. 26 miles. Yeah. I, don't, I, I wouldn't walk that That's far. what I heard. My agent said he can't drive that far. So, I mean, you know, that tells you what William Morris has going for them. I mean, I don't know. But will you stay? You're wonderful. Oh, yes. Because Steve's coming. I know. Steve, we'll be I right back with Steve Keneally from Dallas. And Joan will be here, too.